All right. Boys then? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Oh, boys. All right, Darla. It's getting hot so out funny. there and yeah. it is just the beginning. Oh yeah, meteorologist Darla Givens is here with your first alert to the triple digits. I, I guess I'm supposed to be over there. I guess so. You know, normally yeah, I'm, I'm over there, but that's okay. Here I go. Hi. Moziano. There you go. Hey, Curtis. Hi, Good to see you, Curtis. <laughs> How's the puppy? You know, you have to keep the puppies cool, right? Yes, the puppy's uh, staying very cool, All right. uh, keeping it about 70 degrees in the house. Th there you go. Um, so we are going to see those temperatures heating up. Starting tomorrow, though, we'll see highs in the 100 degree range. It is going to be rather warm during the overnight hours. Our typical overnight temperature is between 56 and 58 degrees. It just depends upon where you are across the valley. Well, we're looking at temperatures in the mid 60s for tomorrow morning, and we will have some cloud cover throughout the day. So it is going to feel a little muggy out there as we see temperatures inching up to the 90 degree range by the noon hour and in the afternoon highs right around 100 degrees and we can thank this area of high pressure. Now what happens with high pressure? We have that sinking air and that warms the ground around us and warms the air mass. And also with it being over land, that means the heat capacity. It means it doesn't take much for the air to warm around it. So we're looking at some hot conditions starting tomorrow. Temperatures are going to run 15 to 20 degrees warmer than average. And even the overnight temperatures, as I mentioned, are going to be warm. 67 to 70 on Friday, 71 to 73 Saturday, and 66 to 68 degrees on Sunday. So we're not going to see much relief overnight. Normally, we'll get that nice cooler breeze that moves in, and that will allow our bodies to regulate and cool off a bit. But we're not going to see that, unfortunately, with those temperatures being in the mid and upper 60s and low 70s. Okay, we ran a story earlier about a window being broken out because a child was accidentally left in a car. Let's just use the air temperature of 90 degrees. Look at how quickly your car can warm up after 10 minutes, 109 degrees. Now keep in mind tomorrow temperatures are going to be 10 degrees warmer than that 90 degree air temperature. At 20 minutes, you could see temperatures of near 120 degrees, 30 minutes, 124 degrees, and 60 minutes, 133 degrees. If you do see a child or a pet or an elderly person in a car, definitely call 911 maybe break a window, get that person out. Who knows? Uh, let's take a look at the heat related dangers. 1998 to 2016, we had 700 nationwide deaths of, of per people being left in a hot car and also heat illnesses. We can see heat exhaustion, heat stroke. So just be aware and also drowning risk increase because people want to hit the waterways to cool off. We have the vests that are free along our waterways, so be sure to use those. And in addition to the heat related illnesses, we're also looking at an increase for uh, wildfires. We're seeing the dry vegetation, low humidity, hot temperatures, and also winds across the area. Right now we're in the low 90s across the valley, 83 degrees in Fairfield, 88 in Modesto and these temperatures are actually cooler than 24 hours ago but this is all going to change we're going to see those numbers increasing 76 degrees in San Francisco we're going to pick up a west breeze at 18 miles per hour 99 in Fairfield throughout the valley take a look at that we'll see temperatures right around 100 degrees for tomorrow that is just the start the next three days we're going to see triple digit heat 80s and 90s in the foothills and for the high country 80 degrees Degrees at Truckee, 78 in South Lake Tahoe. Friday, I think we'll break records that day with a high of 106 for downtown Sacramento. It's going to be warm again on Saturday, 102, and then we'll see a 20 degree drop on Sunday at 82 degrees. And by next Wednesday, we're back up to the mid 90s. Curtis. All right, thank you, Darla.